Hey everyone. Um. Oh, stupid. This de damn Dell webcam central thing pops up every time I turn my webcam on, and I really wish it didn't. Anyways, um. Just in here working on this paper for my um, portfolio of um, my photography final. Um, yeah, I had to mount ten of these. This is four. That's how thick four of them are. Um, yeah, I had to print ten pictures, mount ten pictures, and um, my box that my dad built me should be arriving today. Hopefully they fit in there. Hopefully I gave him the right specs and everything. So, let's hope. If not, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Surely my dad made it correctly. I don't think he would not. But, I don't think he'd send it to me and not have made it correctly. But, um, yeah. So, it's really cool. It's um, a wooden box and he stained it like walnut color and put a lid on it and the handle it's really cute um i took my news writing final today it was pretty easy i think um there was a few questions i was like uh i don't really know but um whenever i went back and reread them and thought about the answer some more i think i answered them correctly um we had a bonus question like i called my mom this morning because i tried to get on my AP News app and on my iPhone and it wouldn't open and so I call my mom and I'm like hey you watch the news every evening and morning tell me what's going on in current events and um, so she told me and um, the outside of them when we were waiting to get into the room for the final people were like oh what current events are going on what current events are going on and the only thing I could think to tell him was about the Heisman Trophy winner that the guy from Baylor won. And, um, um, they were all like, oh, yeah, that's good. I bet that'll be on there. And, um, I forgot to mention, well, I didn't think to mention about the Mitt Romney, Rick Perry bet. And that was the bonus question. What, how much was the bet? I, it, I put 10000 which I which my mom told me which is what she thought it was. Because um, they said it was like three, uh, an average person's three months salary. And, um... 10000 sounds about right. Um, but yeah, so... Hopefully I got it. And I think the girl next to me totally cheated and put down my answer. I saw her look... I saw her glance over at my paper. And I had it there. And... I'm like, girl, I have helped you enough in this class. You do not need to be copying off me. Like, the other, the last, I guess it was last Monday, she couldn't get her uh, news article to open, and so I, like, I retyped it for her right then and there. I was like, oh, I'll retype it because I'm a fast typer. And I did it, and she, like, turned it in and left. She was like, oh, thank you. Thanks. But, I was like, Bitch, buy me Starbucks. I totally deserve that. I just typed your entire paper and edited it for you. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so. Oh, and it cost me. It cost me like $27 to print. Um. To so print the pictures at Walgreens. And then it cost me $17 to have them mounted. But I made some new friends on while I was picking up my pictures uh, this girl was asking about the photography classes and this other girl was asking about photography business and um, you know I was telling her like how I run my business and what all I've done and I was like yeah it's really expensive though because like um, I was like in the last year since January I've spent $2,500, over $2,500, on photography equipment in a year. And, like, I didn't just have $2,500. Like, I would get some money and I'd 
buy a couple of photography things here and there, and it just sort of added up. And next thing I know, I've spent over $2,500. But I was like, yeah, it's. She's using an advanced point and shoot. Not that there's a problem with that at all, but um, you really do just get a lot better quality with the DSLR. Um, you know, you can only do so much with a point and shoot. Like, for one, you should really be shooting in RAW, which I don't, I don't think an advanced point and shoot will allow you to shoot in RAW, does not I don't know. I haven't used a point and shoot in forever. Um, a good year, at least. <laughs> so, I don't really know. Um, but, yeah, I, uh, we talked about that, and, um, she was saying she wanted to get a new Nikon DSLR, and I was like, well, you know, Canons can be a little cheaper, and you get pretty much the same quality. At least I think. I know that the Nikon fans are probably going to hound me to death now and say, no way, Nikon's way better, but I'm happy with my Canon. And I, one day I saw um, a Canon versus Nikon. They took the exact same picture from the exact same angle, exact same settings, and honestly, I couldn't tell the difference. So I think it's just a personal preference. Um, I just went with what was... I was used to, which, um, was a Canon Rebel XS, which is what we have in the photography department, so I went with what I knew how to use, and, um, but, you know, had it been a Nikon whatever, I may have gone with a Nikon whatever, um, so I'm not saying I'm diehard Canon, I wouldn't be opposed to owning a Nikon, um, I think they're both a great value, and both great quality, so, um, they have a wide range of cameras, both of them, from point and shoots to DSLRs, um, I've seen some of the DSLRs for both Canon and, um, Nikon, and they both kick ass, so, uh, yeah, I, uh, that's my Canon Nikon spell, um, I have, I'm, I'm typing up, uh, like I said, uh, a letter thingy for my portfolio, to add with my portfolio, and then, um, I'm going to, at some, and then I need to make a cheat sheet, or, it's an allowed cheat sheet, um, for biology, vinyl, which I'm gonna fail anyways, um, I already know, but, um, might as well make a cheat sheet and get a little bit of help. So, um, yeah, I need to go grocery shopping at some point, um, probably need to go to Staples at some point, um, alright, well, anyways, I need to finish get the, getting on this, so, alright, talk to you later, bye.